I'm Tom Reed, the Commish of the Heroes League, and you're walking the talk with Dr. Tom. I'm outside of the Dodge Park Community Center in Franklinton, an opportunity zone just west of downtown Columbus, Ohio. It was settled by Lucas Sullivan in 1797, and it has a long and complicated history marked by flood, destruction, political turmoil, boom and bust and boom again. Sullivan named it in honor of his favorite American statesman, Ben Franklin, perhaps the most well-known of the founding fathers, to have never been president of the United States. Sullivan was tough and undeterred, and every time he got knocked down, he got right back up to fight again. You know, Franklin lived that too. He was a diplomat, a publisher, a printer, a writer, inventor, scientist, statesman, and signer of the Declaration of Independence. Franklin was a lot of things, but what he was most was a winner in business, in politics, and in life. I mean, hey, his undefeated record against 18th century tyrannical monarchs speaks for itself. I'm also just a few miles from where heavyweight champion Buster Douglas learned to box, which reminds me of something that another great champ, Rocky Balboa, said, you, me, or nobody is going to hit as hard as life. You know, I think Sullivan and Franklin would agree. You know, every day is a struggle. Every day is competition against yourself and against others. There's a seesaw and somewhat tiresome debate in academia as to whether competition is an, is an innate or learned human trait. To me, the very tug of war suggests it's probably both, and in the end, does it really matter? You know, competition is woven into our daily life. Western culture, consumerism, free market enterprise, it's all competition. Whether innate or learned, kids better understand. They are competing against other kids, not just in their classroom or their school or their surrounding communities. They are competing with kids around the world for resources, for opportunity, and for economic prosperity. Nothing will be given. All must be learned. So Franklin and the other founding fathers may have declared all men are created equal, but they knew success was no sure thing. They knew that success would be determined by preparation and persistence, a little bit of patience honed by competition. On December 1st, the Heroes League is launching a statewide Ohio skills competition for all elementary age students in the state. Kids will compete against kids, schools against schools, and get this, House and Senate districts against House and Senate districts. Why? Because competition is motivation. Motivation is engagement. Engagement is learning, and as we understand, the right learning is success. I mean, the data is clear. Kids engaged in the Heroes League for as little as 10 minutes a day do better in school, and the skills competition will motivate students to play and build those skills that they need to compete and to lead and succeed. And if you want to get your students involved in the Heroes League State Skills Competition, go to heroesleaguegameday.com. The next time I walk the talk, we'll explore hope in Appalachia. I invite you to join me there.